Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a vehicle with a turbocharged engine and you want to install diverter plus DV plus valve. Stay with us, we'll explain how to do that. Yeah, it's not very complicated. It will improve your car dramatically. You will feel like you're not having turbo lag. You will not lose boost between shifting points, waiting at traffic lights, things like that. The car will just feel like it's ready to go and it will sound amazing as well. We'll be making a video how okay the verter valve dv plus g uh, dv plus valve sounds on a bmw so check it out now we'll explain how to do that but before we start let me just tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart and we show you how to fix pretty much anything why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can how we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos for you now for any of you that need to buy any parts to and you want to save quite a bit of money okay for your car check out guys the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so let's explain what we have specifically here this is the diverter valve we just have it removed okay this is the original valve out of this bmw that's where the turbo is so we had to remove it uh, this is the valve itself uh, you always need to make sure that it fits your specific make and model because they have different part numbers for different vehicles. This is the GFB DV Plus. We used them before and they're amazing in my opinion. Those are the instructions, but we'll demonstrate how to do it step by step today. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So this is it guys. Okay, that's the diverter valve right here. So uh, what uh, we're going to do now. Okay, we're going to uh, go ahead. Okay remove okay the piston right here we just grab okay and uh, we pull it out you can see like that now right here we need to remove that uh, plastic okay insert so that one will most likely crack guys when it comes out okay so be prepared i'll remove that spring too okay we don't need it so uh, let me see if i can just go ahead okay and pull that one out uh, maybe I might even get the bigger screwdriver so I try not to crack it so much. Let me do that quick. So let me see. Okay, it started popping loose. Just go a little bit on each side and alternate because it's super easy actually to crack, guys. And it's still good that I mean, probably I'll never reuse it. If it cracks, it's fine. But I will go ahead, do that. It looks like it's coming out. And it's breaking, let me see. Okay, came out guys. Okay, check it out. Came out in one piece. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead, okay, and continue with the next step. So now uh, we're going to go ahead, okay, get the, okay, piston, okay, right there, uh, the, the spring, excuse me, now, okay, let me get everything else here, this one, I'll make sure the o-ring is here as well, we'll go like that, okay, it moves, now here I'm going to get the other one, on top, now this one needs to face to the outside okay let's uh, verify everything this one will go in from what I see okay let me just double check here because I think okay to see if we have a new seal or we will just reuse the original this one is still good to make sure we don't have anything extra okay we don't so I'm going to go ahead, position everything here, guys. And close it. Okay, it's tight fit. Remember how we... Okay, now I need to spin it right here. Okay, let's focus on the camera to keep, okay, working where I am. So right here, there is one notch that needs to pass right there on this side. Thank you. 
Okay, this one is super tight, by the way. Okay, it went in. Perfect. Now, what we have here, guys. Okay, we have one more spring that I need to get out. That's the spring. Okay. I'm going to install that spring here. And the main piston. Over there. Okay, and we're ready. Okay, to put it together now. So this is it guys, you can see right here, this is the DV plus, you can see that's how we put it together, make sure it clean uh, everything here on the phone, we're going to install it, it goes only one way uh, on most cars, so make sure which way you removed it, but you can see for instance right here where we have that notch, okay, it goes right there, okay, in the corner, okay, so we need to install it in a specific angle, make sure it fits there, and uh, just... Um, yeah, we put it together and we're ready to go. We'll have a video how uh, DV Plus, okay, diverter sounds on a BMW. So check it out, it will be on the channel and you will be able, okay, to see what it sounds like and I will explain how it feels after we put it together on this specific BMW. Hopefully the video will be helpful. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching and see you next time.